hey guys changing subjects for formula or rearranging equations or whatever you want to call it is an absolute core skill in maths and in science as well um, so it's really 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 worth spending the time um, focusing on this skill making sure you can do this skill really really well um, so what I've got for you here is quite a long video taking a few loads and loads of examples then over my website there's going to be the workbook to go with everything loads and loads of things to do with algebra so everything I'm fairly sure there's something in there that somebody will point out that I've missed out but loads and loads of these are things to do with algebra which you can go and download and there are loads and loads of examples in there to work you through easy medium and hard ones and there's some super hard ones to properly test if you can do this subject as well but this comes up in well, basically every single question so please 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 spend the time making sure you can do this skill properly And when we're talking about rearranged equations, the most important thing is to treat each side equally. So if you add something to this side, you have to add something to this side. If you take something away from this side, you have to take something away from this side. If you have something over this side and something over this side, and you times it by two, you have to times both sides by two. Well, if you do to one thing, you have to do to the other thing. And then we need to be thinking about opposites. If something is times by two and you want to get rid of it, you need to divide by two. And if you're dividing one side by two, you need to divide the other side by two. The best thing for you to do is to practice, 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 practice. You'll notice the same type of questions come up in the exam over and over again. Y equals 4x minus 3, and we want to make x the subject of the formula. So first thing we need to do is to add 3 to each side. What we end up is y plus 3 equals 4x minus 3 plus 3. And then because we have minus 3 plus 3, this cancels out. So we end up with y plus 3 equals 4x. Who wants to get x on its own? It's currently times by 4, so we need to divide by 4. y plus 3 over 4 equals 4x divided by 4. This 4 divided by 4 um, just counts out to be 1. So the answer is y plus 3 over 4 equals x. Here I want to make x subject to the formula. It is currently um, plus 2, so what I need to do is minus 2 from both sides. So I'm going to get what we get y minus 2 equals 3x plus 2 minus 2. Now plus 2 minus 2, that cancels each other out, so we don't need to write that bit down. y minus 2 equals 3 x. Now we have x times by 3, so we need to divide by 3 to get rid of that. We are going to get then y minus 2 divided by 3 equals 3x divided by 3. Now 3 divided by 3, that cancels, so we're going to end up with y minus 2 over 3 equals x. Y equals 3x plus 40. So the first thing we need to do is to get rid of that 40. We minus 40 from each side. So y minus 40 equals 3x plus 40 minus 40. The two minus 40s can cancel each other out. So we end up with y minus 40 equals 3x. We now need to get rid of that 3, so we can divide by 3, because that's opposite of times it by 3. Do that to each side. y minus 40 divided by 3 equals 3x divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 cancels out to just give us 1. So we're going to have y minus 40 divided by 3 equals x. 
y equals 11x plus 9. And again, we want to make x subject to the formula. So the first thing we need to do is to minus 9 from each side. So we have y minus 9 equals 11x plus 9 minus 9. The plus 9 and minus 9 cancels out to give 0. So we end up with y minus 9 equals 11x. We can now divide by 11. So we end up with y minus 9 over 11 equals 11x over 11. 11 over 11 just cancels out to give us 1, so we end up with y minus 9 over 11 equals x. x equals y squared plus z, and it is y here that we want to get on its own. So the first thing we need to do is to minus z from each side. So we end up with x minus z equals y squared plus z minus z, plus z and the minus z cancel each other out, so we end up with x minus z equals y squared. Now because y is squared but we want squared on its own, what we need to do is square root everything, um, so we end up with x minus z square rooted equals y squared square rooted and um, square the square root will cancel each other out so we'll end up with x minus z equals y square rooted. Here let's make x the subject of the formula so I want to get everything that is an x over to the right hand side so that is 4x equals 12 minus 5y. And then I have x times by something, so I want to get rid of that. So I can say x is 12 minus 5y over 4. Again, we want to make x a subject to the formula. So first thing I'm going to do is to multiply out the brackets. 2x uh, minus minus 2y equals 5y plus 4. Um, I'm going to take the bit that isn't y over to the other side. So 2x equals 5y plus 4 plus 2y. I'm going to tidy that up a bit. 2x equals 7y plus 4. And then because x is how many times by 2, I'm just going to divide everything by 2. So x equals 7y plus 4 over 2. y equals 4x plus 3 over x minus 3, and we want to make x the subject of the formula here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to get rid of this divide. Um, if you ever see a divide in a rearranged equation, just try and get rid of it. So we need times by x minus 3. So we have y x minus 3 equals 4x plus 3. Um, now what we need to do is to multiply out these brackets. So we have y x minus 3y equals 4x plus 3. Let's go all of the x's over to one third of the equation. So we can do y x minus 3y minus 4x equals 3. Let's get everything that doesn't have an x in over to the other side of the equation yx minus 4x equals 3 plus 3y. Now we have everything that's an x over one side. We can pop it into brackets. So x, y minus 4 equals 3 plus 3y. Now because we have x times by something, we can divide it by the thing that it is times by. So we have x, 3 plus 3y over y minus 4. Here I want to make x a subject to the formula and you can see it's on both sides of the equations and on one side it's in a bracket. So the first thing I'm going to do is to multiply out those brackets. So 3x minus y equals 
2w plus xw. Get all of the x's over to the left hand side of the equation. So we have 3x minus y minus xw equals 2w. Um, I'm going to get everything that isn't a w over to, uh, isn't an x, sorry, over to the um, right hand side. So that gives me 3x minus xw equals 2 w plus y. Um, now I have two things times or x, so I'm going to pop those into brackets, put an x on the outside, so that is 3 minus w equals 2w plus y. Um, now I have something times by x, I can just divide by that, so I have x equals 2w plus y over 3 minus w. Here I want to make y the subject of the formula. So I'm going to need to multiply out these brackets. xy uh, minus xz equals x squared plus yz. I'm going to need to get all my y's on one side. So we have xy minus xz minus yz equals x squared um, leave that there for the moment. Get everything that doesn't have a y in it over to the right hand side of the equation. So that is x, y minus y, z equals x squared plus x, z. Um, now I have all my y's on the left hand side of the equation. I can simplify this, pop that into a bracket. So take the y outside and then I can do x minus z equals x squared plus xz. Um, now I have something times by y, I can divide that. So we have y equals x squared plus xz over x minus z. Here I want to make x the subject of the formula. x is currently in brackets, so the first thing I'm going to do is multiply out those brackets. So I'm going to do with y equals 12x plus 3z minus 6. Um, I'm going to get everything that isn't um, an x over to one side of the equation, the left hand side. So y minus 3z uh, plus 6 equals 12x. Now that I have extra times or something, I'm going to divide um, the other side by 12. So I'm going to have y minus 3z plus 6 over 12 equals x. Here I will need to make y the subject of the formula. Um, now y is currently divided by something, once we get rid of that first of all, so it's going to be x minus y equals z 2y plus 3. Um, now there's a y in brackets, so I want to get rid of that. x minus y equals 2 uh, y, z, now you can see how I do my uh, z's, like I do, plus 3, um, z, I'm going to get all my y's over to one side, so x minus y minus 2 y, z equals 3 z, everything that isn't y over to the other side, so minus um, y minus 2 y, z equals 3 x minus uh, 3z minus x. Um, now I can take a y out of this and put it in brackets. So then I have minus 1 minus 2z equals 3z minus x. Now I have something times by a y. I can divide that on the other side. So I'm going to get y equals 3z minus x over minus 1 minus 2z. Make y the subject of the formula. Now y is divided by something else, so you want to get that up to the top. So we have x ty plus 3 equals 6y minus 7. We want to expand that bracket, so 2xy plus 3x equals 6y minus 7. Get all the y's over to one side. 2xy plus 3x minus 6y 
equals minus 7. Get everything that isn't x over to the other side. So 2xy um, minus, sorry, minus 6y equals minus 7 minus 3x. Um, pop the y outside, so we have a bracket, 2x minus 6 equals minus 7 minus 3 x. Now we can divide that, so y equals minus 7 minus 3x um, over 2x minus 6. y equals 3x plus 6, and I'll make x the subject of the formula, so let's multiply up that x at the bottom there. So we have xy equals 3x plus 6, get everything with x in over one side. equals 6. Now we have two things times by x, so I'm going to take x outside, pop that into a bracket, equals 6. Now I have something times by x, so I can just divide that, which will give me x equals 6 divided by y over 3. Here we want to make uh, y the subject of the formula. We have y at the bottom, so we need to times that up first of all. Um, multiply out these brackets, put everything with y over on one side of the equation, so that's 3xy plus 2y equals 2x. Um, now we have two things times over y, so we can take y outside and go 3x plus 2 equals 2x. Now we have y times by something, so we can divide by that. y equals 2x over 3x plus 2. Um, here I want you to make y the subject of the formula. So we have x 5 plus 3y equals 2y plus 3, we can multiply out the brackets, we have 5x plus 3xy equals 2y plus 3, and we can get everything with y over to one side, so that is 5x plus 3xy minus 2y equals 3, everything that's not y over the other side, so that is 3xy minus 2y equals 5 minus 3, sorry, 3 minus 5x, pop that into a bracket, y, 3x minus 2 equals 3 minus 5x, and then we can divide by 3x minus 2. So I want you to make x is subject to the formula, so we have something in the bottom, we need to times that up, so y, um, a minus x equals a um, plus 2x, multiply out those brackets, a y um, minus xy equals a plus 2x, all x is over on one side, a y minus xy minus 2x equals a, everything that isn't x over to the right hand side, minus xy minus 2x equals a minus a y. Um, we can put x outside to pop it in brackets, so we have minus y minus 2 equals a minus a y, um, and then we can do x equals a minus a y over minus y minus 2.